talk about these two, sodium and potassium. American diet has too much salt in it and not enough potassium. You can get potassium from foods like avocado, bananas, potatoes, spinach, fish, citrus juices, and beans. Let's go into the reasons why you need more potassium in your diet and less sodium. So, is sodium bad for you? Well, the recommended daily allowance for sodium is 2,300 milligrams per day. Uh, in adults in the United States, uh, that number is routinely exceeded, and in fact, the average is around 3,400 milligrams per day. So, does high salt in your diet uh, lead to high blood pressure or hypertension? Well, salt's not the whole story. The question really is um, about balance, about balancing your sodium uh, and potassium in your diet. So, how can you reduce uh, blood pressure? Well, one of the key approaches to reducing uh, blood pressure alongside of uh, medications uh, is this dietary approach um, called a DASH diet. Uh, DASH stands for a dietary approach stop hypertension. Uh, the DASH diet has uh, low fats, particularly saturated fats, uh, moderate protein uh, and carbohydrate intakes, uh, but where it's interesting is that the DASH diet is low in sodium and high in potassium, um, along with good amounts of calcium, magnesium, and fiber. This diet has been shown to reduce hypertension um, or high blood pressure in patients with high blood pressure. A DASH eating plan is high in grains with six to eight servings a day. That will be whole grains. High in vegetables with four to five vegetables a day. High in fruits, four to five fruits per day. Uh, it has a reasonable amount of low fat dairy products, which are a good source of potassium. Uh, there are uh, servings of uh, fish, meat, and poultry, uh, moderate throughout the week. Nuts, seeds, beans are uh, included. Um, and fats and oils and sweets are reduced in this diet. Uh, so, what happens with a DASH diet? Uh, what you can see in this uh, study, uh, looking at potassium intake and risk from stroke, this would be the risk of having a stroke in, in, in people in these studies. You can see that those who have higher potassium in their diet are at significantly reduced risk in almost all of the studies of having a stroke. And that's because of the effect of the DASH diet in lowering blood pressure. So to conclude, current nutrition data supports uh, diets that are very high in potassium and low in sodium. So I would recommend eating more fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, things like avocado, bananas, potatoes, spinach, beans, citrus, juices, and fish, to get the potassium that you need in your diet every day. Thanks. Talk to you again soon. Uh, the reference textbook that most of these uh, videos follow is Understanding Nutrition uh, by the authors Rolfs and Whitney. That's, uh, I use the 15th edition uh, by Cengage Publishing.